Hello, my name is Yara Willard and I'm a herbalist here on Vancouver Island and today in the early spring I am out hunting Balm of Gilead. Now Balm of Gilead is the medicinal part of a tree. Yes, it's the buds in fact, sticky little buds. Now you all know this tree really well because it pukes out cottonwood flowers and they get all into the air, all over our cars, pukes out little buds, they get sticky all over our, our vehicles and all over our sidewalks and all over us and a lot of people don't like it because of that reason. But it's one of the best medicines we know of. In fact, the natives have used it extensively in this part of the world for all kinds of different issues. And we'll get into that a little later, but let's go see if we can find one. Oh, how did I miss that? Let's say that's about 100 feet tall. These trees grow with about up to a six foot diameter in their stem, and they can grow to 100 feet tall. Now, as you can see, it's gonna be pretty hard for me to get up there and harvest that one, but they do have these lower branches. And in the spring, sometimes what happens is the winds come and blow down branches. This is a soft wood, so it loses limbs. It self trims itself. So you can sometimes find those. Or what we're really gonna look for is ones where people cut them down. Because then they sprout up with all kinds of suckers. Or you can get the whole laying down tree and um, get all the top buds. Because the ones at the very top of this tree are gonna be the best. It's been used in native folk remedies for a long time, very extensively for lung congestion and coughs and whooping cough and chronic bronchitis to help as, a, as what they call a stimulating expectorant to tone the tissues and push out phlegm and mucus. So that's how it's used by them, but that's not how we use it. It's a member of the willow family, which means it has a lot of salicylic acid in it, which is where aspirin comes from. Our body will turn that into pain relief. So we're gonna use these buds as a topical oil for a salve. We use it for all kinds of inflammatory conditions and it has slight antibacterial compounds and antimicrobial to it, but really that inflammation and pain is where we want to go with this. We got any kind of bruising, sore muscles, carpal tunnel, that's one of my favorite things because a lot of us use the computer a lot and we get those sore wrists, rub the Balm Gilead oil on it or the Balm Gilead salves, beautiful for that. Arthritis, rheumatoid pain, all these kinds of things are what we want to use it for. Now these are the spring buds, and these are my favorite because in the spring they start to produce a lot more of this sticky sap. And that's where the real medicine is, is in that sticky sap. Which is gonna get all over my fingers, and by the time I'm done picking them, I'll barely be able to pull my fingers apart. What we're looking for is these sappy ones, just like that. We're gonna extract that in oil or in alcohol. Now it is not water soluble, so we have to find some other way to extract it which means we'll do a double boiled oil, which is to take the oil in one jar, put it inside of another pot with water, get the water boiling, something on the bottom to help um, boil it up and protect it, but not actually boil the oil. We'll macerate these in the oil, leave that for about, I'd say five hours to 12 hours, and it'll absorb all the healing properties of the oil in here. The cottonwood is considered to be one of the most sacred trees to Native American folklore. In fact, this is considered to be a spiritual conduit. It is one of these trees that reaches way up into the sky and brings down that great spirit consciousness. Through the rustling of its leaves, we could hear the words of the spirit world sounding. So if you listen close enough, you may just hear a deeper meaning in this plant. So get down, hug a tree, listen close and see well, you can see with your heart eye open and your third ear listening. I think I saw some over there. Come on, let's go. Come on. You see this tree? Somebody's cut this thing down, looks like last year, and it's starting to sprout up new ones. And one little branch, we can get so many. All right, quick harvesting mission. Nobody's looking, let's get them. Here's another great example of how abundant this plant is. People have chopped down all these little saplings all the way down this road, and we've got tons on this old farm road of Balm Gilead. Easy pickings, nice small ones. And you know nobody wants them here because as soon as they grow big enough, they're gonna chop them right back down again. Now it can be slow going, because as you can see, you only get a little handful out of each branch. You can see, for about 10 minutes, I've still only got that much. <laughs> no, it's only been three minutes. 
One thing that's great with this oil is we mix it into something called our trauma salve. And one of the neat properties of the bombagiliate oil is it helps the other oils drive deeper into the tissues. It's kind of an oil carrier, so it penetrates deep and helps get the other oils in there. So that's a great way to use it in mixed blends with other oils, but on its own, it's a miracle worker for all kinds of skin inflammation and pain and deep tissue damage. So you can even use it on scrapes and cuts. Now I'm gonna squeeze a little bit out here and put it on my camera guy's legs because they're looking gnarly. Oh, poor guy. Yeah. There you go. Pack that wound. Bit more. Ow! <laughs> now this underappreciated plant, Poplar, has given a bad rap by a lot of people. I hope you get to see from this video and other ideas that this is actually one of the most powerful medicines in this part of the world and should be treated as a sacred plant, as a conduit to spiritual connection. So thanks for joining me. I hope you learned a little bit and I know I always do every time I get out and pick plants. So we hope to see you again soon. Check out some of our other videos on wild harvesting and if you have any ideas of what you want to see us do more of, comment, like, share and show what you can. Be well. See you soon friends.